Welcome back to the Ottawa Senators GM mode. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Now, time to do round one. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. We're back in the postseason with the newly formed team uh, against Toronto. Now, I know it's kind of a big rivalry for people in Toronto and Ottawa. Um, you know, I'm from Vancouver, so I could really care less about the rivalry. But if you're an Ottawa fan, you're obviously... Uh, if Well, if I was an Ottawa fan, I would have much to say about this matchup here. But I, the only thing I did before this was a little bit of editing lines because of the fact I looked at injuries. Toronto doesn't have any. Shipchenkov is injured until April 14th. So, go to calendar. He'll be back by game three. Possibly, he'll be back by game number two. Now, if he's back by game number two, I'll do this. If we win game number one, I won't play him. I'll let him rest and heal. If we lose game number one, I will put him back in the lineup, even if he's not at 100% for game number two. So, that's my plan Let's go. Um, let me show you the lineup. Now, we don't have Chipchenkov, so, you know, it's not as deep as it should be. We've got Panarin, White, and Mitch Marner. They're really going to have to step it up and really produce um, the second line as well. Johansson, Pajot, and Domi. Luckily, we do have Pajot, who's a second liner. He's a pretty low second liner, 82 overall, but it'll have to do. And then the third line, we've got Cousins, Wilson, and Winnick. Not the best. And then Milano, Lowry, and Queen. Not the best. Defensively, though, we are all right. Fifi, Carlson, Tanev, Braun, Dupre, and the newly added Ryan Murphy. I'm looking for him to do big things in the future and right now. And then in net, obviously, Corpus Allo. Um, I like it. Yeah, I think, depending on what Toronto has, I think we should be able to get by him. Uh, let's check it out. Let's play the game. Hopefully we can win num game number one, uh, or at least win at least one, go at least go one and one, so that when Shipchenkov comes back, you know, it's the tied up series. So, let's go to edit lines. It looks like Matthews is the one they're showing. Do they not have a captain still? That's interesting. Um, let's go options, view opponents. All right, all right. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Um, the first line is obviously good. Matthew, the 91 overall. Uh, Nylander, 86, a first liner. And Van Riemsdyk, a second liner. But when you've got Matthew, it really doesn't matter what else you got on the line. It'll work out. So, you know, first line is incredible for them. Second line, they got Kadri, yeah, a perfect second line center. Komarov, the third liner, not the best. And then Marlow, a second liner. He's a low second liner, kind of like Pajot. He's like Pajot, you know, I'd prefer him to be on the third line. And then they got, you know, the bottom six is actually good. You know, Hyman, Gauthier, Levo, Skivio, Martin, and Reichel. It, it's okay. A third line, fourth line, third line, fourth, fourth, and a fourth. Yeah, it's fine. Nothing, nothing. It's not like a Stanley Cup contending team where, like, you, you'd like to have, like, Marlowe on the third line and another 80 and an 81, you know, but it, it's okay. Defensively... Yeah, okay, so Riley and Lilia Grand, basically what we have in Carlson and Fifi. You know, a perfect top line pairing. Um, and then, but Zaitsev, Boychuk, they, they would be a good top six. And then Carrick Durman, yeah, we're going to have to take advantage of the fact that they don't have a good defensive core outside of the top two. And then Frederick Anderson, obviously a 90 overall, we know that. All right, um, pretty even, honestly, pretty even. I think we have the edge, especially if we have uh, Shipchenkov. But even if we don't, I think we can still take him. I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be a six or a seven game series. I really do. We're quite even, you know. Once Subban is like a, a top six guy, then we can really look to, uh, you know, capitalize on all these first round matchups. But already, uh, wait, who has the goal? White! White has a goal on Anderson. Wow, amazing. We put him to the first line, and right off the bat, um, a shot right inside the circle. Perfect. Um, all right, let's finish up period number one, and it is 1-1. All right, so Levo gets one back. That is fine. 1-1, 15 shots to 7 for us. Keep it going, keep it going. Second period, it is 2-1. Uh, Johansson gets the goal, so the top six is producing, like I said. They're going to need to. The top six is going to need to 
produce. If they go on a cold streak, we're going to get eliminated quick, right? So, uh, let's keep it going, though. Let's get out of game number one with a victory. That would be huge. Then we can, then maybe if Shepchenkov comes back, we can, we can think about resting him a game. Um, because I don't want him to get re-injured. Um, but resume simulation, period number three. Corpusalo, I'm going to need you to play amazing five on four. We cannot capitalize. That would have been huge to go up three to one. Anderson's keeping him in the game too, though. We have 33 shots and, and he's only letting two. So he's keeping them in the game. Defense is doing great for us. They only have 28 shots. Um, Braun gets an empty net goal, and we win 3-1. to one. Corpus Allo played absolutely amazing. So, let's go to all events here. Let's take a look at, um, goals. So, uh, Mona, Domi, and, uh, Quinn get the assist. So, yeah, so the first line, Mona and White, and then Domi and Johansson for the second goal. Perfect. That is exactly what I was looking to get out of the game. Um, let's go to the next game here. So, Cody Cece's gone down in Morale. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, advanced day. And then advanced day again. Okay, so it doesn't look like Shipchenkov is going to come back. That is the AHL. Don't need to worry about that. Yeah, Shipchenkov still not, not uh, available to play. That is fine. Let's simulate game number two. I'm not going to change anything. We had a spectacular game number one. Let's go. Game number two, the first period. If we could go up two games to nothing, that would be huge. We're in Toronto, by the way. They had 41 wins. We had 37. So, let's go. Let's beat Toronto in the first period. Two to two. All right. So, Mitch Marner and Eric Carlson, the big guns stepping up for us. And then Kadri and Skivier. So, so far, we are shutting down the top line, which is nice, and our top guys are getting going. That is great, but they still have two goals, and Matthew haven't got on the board. So, we have to be careful of that. Period number two. Four to two for Ottawa. Let's get it. Wilson and Carlson. So, the big gun stepping up again, and a bit of depth this time, which is really nice. We can't lose this game. This is a gimme. Corp oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, I pressed A instead of X. Oh my god. I hate when I do that. I wasn't even looking at the controller shit, but we ended up winning nonetheless. 4-3. to three. Zaitsev did get a goal. That would have been an intense game to, uh, to simulate down. Holy crap. Okay. Um, let's go to goals here. So Mitch Marner from Panarin and White. Carlson from Domi and Pajot. Wilson from Cousins and Carlson again. And then calls in from White and Mona. So yeah, the top six are getting points. It, it, wow. So far, we're playing amazing. Shipchenkov should be back for the next game. And once we get him, man, I don't want to make any bold predictions. But it's looking like we're going to do amazing things, especially with Shipchenkov. So um, let's take Quinn out of here. Let's uh, go to Centerman and put Chimchenkov in the lineup. Now, I'm actually going to keep White on the top line. One goal and two assists in two games played. Uh, Panarin has one assist and Manu has one goal, two assists. So, I'm going to keep it like that. Now, Pajot, does he have any points? One assist. Okay. Domi has two assists and Johansson has a goal. So, yeah, I'm just going to plug Chimchenkov on the second line. And then just put Pajot on the third and Cousins on the fourth, I think. Oh, no. Um, yeah, Lowy has a bit better face-off rating, so I'm going to put him there. Um, Corpus Allo, wow. What is your stats looking like right now? 0.93 and, uh, and a two goals against. Unbelievable. So, um, yeah, let's just go replace player for the AHL team. Time to simulate to uh, game number three. We are in Ottawa now. This this should be a good game. If we can win this game, that would be awesome. Get past Toronto, hopefully quickly now, hopefully with no injuries. Um, let's get it. Period number one. We've done great at shutting down Matthews. Keep that up. Is he going to score? Hopefully not. Uh, Van Riemsdyk does score, so Matthews probably got an assist on that. Damn it. All right. All good, though. Just a one-goal lead. Period number two. Um, two to two, all right. So Marlowe did get a goal, but Panarin and Marner on the top line. You've got to imagine White had at least one assist, if not two. 
which that would be great if he did. We really need him to produce in the offseason, not just to win, but for his own development. You know, if he can go, you know, close to a point a game, which is looking like he's going to, at least so far, that would be great for his offseason jump. So time to go to the third period, all tied up at two. This is a huge game. We, we, if we can win this game, um, basically series over. If Toronto, it's a must win for Toronto. Power play! Ah, I might switch up the power play. Ah, okay, maybe not. I don't know. I'll take a look at it after this game. Check, a, Take a look at how it's doing. It looks like it's going to overtime. Panarin gets the goal! 32 seconds to go! Panarin right in the slot. Holy shit. Wow. We've gone up three games to nothing. Uh, so White got one, two, three assists in the game. That is amazing to see. Ottawa is just playing lights out. Now, I know Toronto is not a spectacular team. Oh, 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 oh no! Corpusello! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, April 20th. Shit. So, he's out till April 20th. Oh, no. Thank God we won that game. Thank fucking God. And I actually checked, and he went out with five minutes to go in the third period. Condon came in, made five saves. So, thank God we didn't end up losing that game. Um, Condon came in. He did his thing. You know, with five minutes to go, having to come in and make five saves, that is huge for him and the team. So, he, we're going to miss two games, potentially, without Corpus Allo. We need to win game number four. Holy shit. Oh, wow. So, uh, White wants to talk. Yes, I absolutely think it's something to be proud of. Um, yeah, let's go motivating. And he liked it. Perfect. Couldn't ask for anything more. Um, chemistry, that 74%, which is nice to see. Oh, my God. So, game number four. We have Condon in net. This is a huge game. If we can win with Condon, that would be amazing. Whew, I can't be too mad if we lose, but I gotta have faith in the defensive core that we have. We have a stellar defensive core. They need to help out and step up big to get Condon this win. First period, Van Wiensdijk gets a goal. Okay, uh, they got one goal in the last game, in the first period. Nothing to freak out a bit. Let's just come back with a strong second period. We did get a goal. We came back 1-1. Mitch Marner. Oh my god. The top line is playing absolutely fucking incredible right now. I couldn't be happier. Let's go. Third period. It is all tied up at 1-1. One one. Condon, please play your best. Defense. Colson. Ah, no. They couldn't step up for him. Okay, that's fine. 2-1. to one, Komarov. Come on, Ottawa. We have no injuries up front. You need to be able to get another goal. Seven minutes to go. Panarin, come on. Get another goal. You scored with 30 seconds left. No, not going to happen. Ah, oh, we end up losing two to one. I mean, you can't even blame Condon. You can't even blame him. So White got another assist, which is great, but... We're down. Oh, no, we're not down. We lost. We are up three games to one, though. Corpus Allo, so he only missed one game. Now, do we play him? Do we play him? Is he still injured at all? He, yeah, okay, so you know what? I'm going to put him in the backup position, but, so he's not going to be scratched, but, um, he's not going to play. Okay, he is not going to play. We're up three games to one. And we only lost by two to one. I have faith in, um, I have faith in Condon. Let's go to edit lines. Let me just make sure that uh, Condon is playing. Yep, Con we're going to rest Corpus Allo. It's a bold move, but we're up three games to one. It's not like we have to win this game. We have three games left to win. Let's just simulate this game. Hopefully, we can win it. Oh. Game number five. It would be amazing if you could win this game. Give Corpus Allo a couple days to rest. Period number one. They go up two to one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, period number two. Five to three. Holy shit, Condon. That was a bad decision. Van Riemsdyk, Marlow, and Riley. At least we got some goals. Murphy, Domi, and Panarin. Uh, time to go to uh, period number three, though. 
Five on four. We need a five on three. We couldn't get it done. Okay, Murphy gets the goal. That is great. Five to four. Can we come back and, and make it five to five? That would be incredible. Come on, Ottawa. Seven minutes to get one goal. You can do it. Are you kidding me? You can't do it. Come on. Shit. We end up losing five to four. Let's go to goals here. So um, it doesn't look like White got a got a point. The second line kind of stepped up. Defense stepped up. Okay, down to three games to two. Um, a little bit of urgency needs to be put up into put into the lineup now, definitely. So um, Corpus Allo is definitely going to go into the lineup, definitely. So let's go to edit lines. We need Corpus Allo to go in. I'm going to keep everything else the same, but Corpus Allo needs to go in. Um, hopefully, he's fully healed by game number six. If not, that is going to be rough. But um, hopefully, he is. Mitch Marner is leading the team, actually. Um, you, you know that White isn't too far behind. So, um, yeah, Corpus Allo is in net. Let us simulate game number six. If, if they win this game, suddenly they come back from a 3 to nothing deficit. We cannot let that happen. We got a fully healthy team. Well, Corpus Allo might not be 100%, but everything else is healthy. Let's go in there and let's fucking destroy them. Period number 1, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, period number 2, one nothing. Panarin, the top line, once again gets it done. They took a bit of an absence in game number 2. On the power play, Panarin again. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Two games to nothing. Five on four, another one? No, okay, that is fine. Penalty kill, kill it off, kill it off. Perfect. If we can win with the magical S word, that would be great for Corpus Allo and the team. Johansson gets an empty netter, and we end up getting a shutout in game number six. Three to nothing. So White had uh, only one assist. That's okay, that is okay. Let's continue. So we go to round number two with not too much of a struggle. I mean, oh no. White's been injured with a thorn knee. I think it said April 30th. Oh my god. Okay, good. Van, oh no, no. Um, so in the Eastern Conference, there's only one game left in a couple games. Shit. We might be without Colin White for a couple games. That would be terrible. Hopefully... Hopefully we don't start until like April 24th to like 25th here. That would be ideal. So we got um in the uh, Eastern Conference. Still, uh no, shit, man. This is terrible. Okay, yeah, let's go here. So in the Eastern Conference, one game to be played. And then in the Western Conference, we've got um a couple games to be played as well. So yeah, hopefully we can wait until like April 25th to get going. Ah, it's already over. Who are we playing? Uh, we are playing New Jersey. April 24th is when the next round is going to start. Oh, shit. Monu is still leading the team. All right. Um, let's, go to, let's go to injury report. How long is Colin White going to be out for? April 30th. Damn it. That is rough. So he's going to miss. Let's check it out here. He's going to miss at least two games. That's terrible. Damn. That is terrible to see. Let's go to play. Oh, no, shit. I went to the regular season. Um, let's back out of that. Let's go to the postseason. Well, what do we got? So, nine points in six games for Mono, Eight points in six games for White. And six points in six games for Panarin. They absolutely killed it. Point a game. Can't be any happier with that. Colson had four points. Fantastic. The second line had five points. Four points and um and uh oh yeah Shipchenkov was injured but um where was he down here so he only had he didn't have any points in four games so Pajot did have two points maybe I should put him on the top line let's go to goalies uh Corpus Salo had a point nine four four and a one point five four playing absolutely unreal Condon uh point yeah we can't get too mad about that he's an eighty overall. So in the net, oh yeah, before I go, before I end it off, let's take a look at power play. Um, let's take a look at this. So let's go to the Eastern Conference here. 
Let's go to uh, the... No, we'll, oh, shit, yeah. Eastern Conference, Ottawa Senators, power play. Okay, so it's that 32%, nothing to worry about. And then 90% for penalty kill. New Jersey, we are coming for you. I cannot wait to get that uh, video done. Probably coming within a couple days. Ideally within like one to two days. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the series. Let me know if you are. I will catch you in the next episode.